if you see a group of people walking through a wooded area, call it a, a dark woodland, and they're following a particular path through the woods, and you know that there is an ambush up ahead waiting for these people. And these people are completely unaware that the ambush is about to take place. What would be an appropriate time to tell them about the ambush and that their lives are in mortal danger? <clears throat> they may not believe that there's an ambush up ahead because they've been told by others back in the city that never been out in the woods that the woods are safe. There hasn't been any hostile forces, no natives, no wild beasts in those woods for centuries perfectly safe. Go ahead. Enjoy yourself. Don't worry about a thing. But what if you knew different? What if you knew that there was trouble ahead? And you even knew that half the people or more in that group won't believe you. What would be the appropriate time to tell them about the trouble, about the danger? Particularly, if you don't want to see any of them fall into harm's way. That's the last thing you want to see. If you hated these people, if you despised these people, then you'd sit back and you'd smile You'd find yourself a good spot on the 50-yard line, and you would wait for the ambush. And then you would eat your popcorn like it was a horror movie and watch them just receive all kinds of torment. But it's not like that. You, you don't hate these people. You care for these people. You're concerned for these people. And yet you know that this ambush is about to take place, and they don't see it coming. What is an appropriate time to tell them about it? I would say immediately, regardless of the situation, regardless of what they happen to be doing at that particular moment that they may not want to have interrupted, if you see them, you need to warn them that they're heading into trouble. It's the only civil thing to do. Warn them and warn them as sternly as possibly can to convince them that they need to maybe go down some other path and stop going down the path that they're going down because that's the path that's going to lead them into destruction. You understand what I'm saying? You can't be picky and choosy about when's an appropriate time when it comes to somebody's life, when it comes to situations between life and death. You really can't. Like Penn and Teller even says in, in a video clip. He's a total atheist, but he said that if he had for, firm belief that a person stepping out on the road is about to get hit by the bus, he can't stand there and watch that bus hit that person. He's got to do something, even if it means tackling that person. So if... Somebody out here is a professing Christian that is not trying to do everything in their ability to warn you about the coming terror that you're, you're going to face if you don't turn and go down another path, then how much do they actually love you? How much do they care about you? How much are they concerned about you that they would not give you that kind of a warning unless they don't believe it themselves. 
you see there's this little thing that is coming down the road and it was said to occur at the end of this age now there's a little scientific clock that very few people talk about that is called the precession of the equinoxes now we are right now coming to the end of the age of Pisces the age of the fish and we're approaching rapidly the age of Aquarius the water bearer which to me looks like a person pouring out vials large vials of water now prophecy says that we will come to a time when the vials will be poured out upon the earth and it will be at the end of the age which when Jesus was on the earth walking the face of this earth was at the very beginning of the age of Pisces the fish was a very strong sign in early Christianity so the age of Christianity as it is on this earth on this dispensation is coming to a close we are coming to the end of this age and at the end of this age it was prophesied that God would not be found that God would hide his face from the wicked that God would not hear the prayers of the wicked that God would provide armor for the Christians and he would tell them to stand not to advance not to attack not even to retreat told them to stand take that armor and stand smile with your blessings as your enemies attack you and assault you and verbally abuse you because all you're doing is being bait you're drawing out the enemy and when the enemy persecutes you and verbally abuses you and mocks you and ridicules you they are exposing themselves and this God of ours as loving as he is he is also severe he has cleared the earth all but four people in the past he has destroyed entire cities he's destroyed entire civilizations what makes you think that he won't come back and destroy us once again the Christians have Christ the body and blood of the Lamb our Passover we will be passed over but it is said that the desolation of the wicked is coming and as a whirlwind passes through the wicked will be no more one will be taken one will be left two men in the field two men will be at home in bed one will be taken one will be left some Christians call it the rapture but what they don't understand is that the righteous will never be removed but the wicked will be plucked up pulled out by the roots and tossed into the fire you don't see it coming you're not supposed to see it coming but if you had any wisdom at all you would turn from your wickedness you would repent while you still have time before you get blindsided by the wrath of God and tossed into hell it's not judgment it's sentencing for you have already been judged you have already been condemned from the beginning all that is left is to pass sentence this is Greg Monroe of Holy Ground Ministries pray about this and turn and repent please for I do not want to see you suffer 
in torment.